Hey guys, Cashball back today with Scott Player. Hey. I know, guys, it has been a little while since we have done a video, but um, today we're here to review and swatch Haunted Mansion, the new Disney's Haunted Mansion film. So, um, as you can hear, the first look stuff is happening on the big screen. So, we're going to um, try and have you guys hear it as possible during the editing. But um, hopefully you can. Hopefully you can. We got our popcorn and stuff already ready. We're very hyped. We're really hyped up to see this film. Yeah. So um, we'll get back to you guys on the next with the review. <laughs> So uh, now for our review on this film. So um, I'll start. Um, so first of all, my general overall rating for this film, I do give it a four out of four stars. That's right. But I would say 99.9% .9 Rotten Tomatoes hmm. that I give it. Nearly to 100% perfect. So still A plus range. <laughs> <laughs> so um, my thoughts on the film. So um uh, for those of you who haven't seen it yet, not given any spoilers, this is a non-spoiler review. Um, I do believe this was a very great film. I mean, if you guys, any you Disney fans who have been probably to um, a Disney park, and if you've ever been on the Haunted Mansion itself, if you ever see this film, you'll definitely see there's many things in there that look just like going through the ride. Um, and that's what we basically loved about it. Um, I liked how this one was kind of like still, um, still has the comedy in it, so for all of you who like something funny to watch, this is definitely one for you too, with a little mix of some haunting, some paranormal activities and stuff like that, spirit stuff, it's definitely a film for you. <laughs> um, and there were some scenes in the film where I definitely thought that they were really great, some of it either very tendering at the same time, like a very sentimental backstory, it's really about like, you know, getting over maybe your griefs and such that are kind of like what the spirits tempt you in a way. So um, it's kind of like getting over the temptation of feeling all griefed and just finding a way to move on. But anyways, um, I think that's all I'm going to say about that. No spoilers, not going to say what happened in the film. <laughs> but um, also, I have to do, I have to definitely say, as for the character of Madame Leota, Jamie Lee Curtis? <laughs> it's like, who would have ever thought she could pass for Madame Leota in the Crystal Ball? Uh -huh. um, well, uh, what's interesting is that in the uh, Eddie Murphy movie, uh, it was Jennifer Tilly. Yeah, Jennifer Tilly in that version was Madame Leota. Yeah. Huh. Um, and, you know, I only saw Jennifer Tilly before as just being like the voice of Tiffany, the doll in the Chucky series. And in Monsters, Inc. And <laughs> Monsters, Inc. is, um, what's her name? Cilia Willia. <laughs> <laughs> um, but anyways, um, well, you know, she just has that kind of like, um, a, a kind of unique voice that like, nobody can really sound like Jennifer Tilly in a way. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I guess that's probably what they wanted for that version. But Jamie Lee Curtis did great. Um... Everyone else did great. The whole cast, some very new cast I haven't seen before, um, but will be, one of them is going to be in a future series coming out in Disney Plus for mm -hmm. the Ahsoka Tano series. Yeah, Rosario Dawson. Yep, so, of course, um, you will see her in the film. I won't tell you what part, no spoilers. <laughs> so, um, I guess it's not a spoiler if you can't tell what happened in the story. Mm -hmm. But anyways, uh, she's in it. Um... And I think, um, so yeah, my concluding thoughts was, once again, four out of four stars, 99.9% .9 Rotten Tomatoes, nearly perfect, um, but definitely a film for you, Disney fan, paranormal fan, if you love the Haunted Mansion at the ride um, itself, the parse, definitely see this film, you will love it, uh, I don't I don't believe you'll be disappointed with it, um, and so, 
yes, I may also do another video after this review, maybe come for me giving my personal discussion and opinion about comparing both versions, the Eddie Murphy version, along with this one that we just saw. <laughs> so do keep an eye out on a future post for that, if there's ever going to be one and it'll give a release date. <laughs> so keep it, so keep an eye on that on my channel. Nice. So now I'm going to turn it over to Scott Plyer. Hey guys, Scott Plyer here. I uh, just saw how to mention with my friend Sean, and I want to get my thoughts on the movie. I definitely think it was a pretty solid film. I think between Pirates of the, all the Car Pirates of the Caribbean movies, and also this movie and the Eddie Murphy movie, there's been quite a few uh, rides based on uh, rides that were adapted into movies now from Disney, and I definitely think this is one of the more faithful adaptations we've had of one of the rides at Disneyland. And I thought it was a pretty solid film. I liked all the actors, you know, Owen Wilson, you always enjoy him and anything he, he's in. And uh, Rosario Dawson, as we were saying, she's a great actress, who actually got her start at, on the Daredevil TV show on Netflix. Uh, she's great in that. And also Danny DeVito. <laughs> Danny DeVito, he's a great actor too, very funny. And uh, also, like Sean was saying, some new actors that I've never seen before. I thought they were great in their roles, especially the, the boy. Uh, I thought he was great in his role. Um, and let's see. I liked the music. The music was really good. The cinematography. Um, I think some of the special effects can be a little bit spotty here and there on the ghosts, but that's okay. And let's see. Um, I also think that it had a pretty decent third act. Like um, There were some, definitely some creepy images in this movie uh, that kind of catered to horror fans. So if you're a horror fan, there are some things about this movie that I think you'll like. But keep in mind that this is a PG-13 Disney movie, so it's not pure horror. Uh, and I think it's a, definitely something that a lot of people will really like. I did like the elements. I thought that was I don't really have too many other flaws, really. Let's see. I mean, like I said, some of the CGI can be a little bit spotty on the ghosts, and also, mm, I don't know. <laughs> uh, I think if I had to give this movie a grade, it would probably be, probably give it an A. That'd be my grade for this movie. Those are my thoughts, and back to Sean. Thank you, Scott Applier, for your thoughts. Um, so. Uh, now to just wrap up the video, so hope you guys enjoyed our review on this. Remember to press that like button down there, comment down about what other, um, if you've seen the film already, about what your thoughts on the film were, um, plus, um, you know, anything that you want to ask or anything or so, I'll probably try and leave any replies or responses, but anyways, um, please give this video a lots of love and give it a nice view and share it at all and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and Scott Applier's channel, of course. I'll also leave a description for his channel down in the description. Um, and also, uh, thank you for watching the review once again and keep an eye out on my channel for another post um, update, uh, release date possibly of my next video after this comparing both Haunted Mansion movies. Hmm. So that's all for now. Cash Vault, out. And the ghosts will follow you home. Yes, they will. <laughs>